Welcome to the Roy Works channel. In today's video, we are going to continue work at Shane's house. We are working on now phase two of the restoration of his home. In this video, we're going to work on the staircase installation. At this point, he's had rough stairs uh, that he's been using with just temporary stair treads. So now we're going to remove those and install the uh, permanent stairs. He's going with a styling on his house that's it is contemporary or more industrial in modern or that old style house. It's kind of a cool mixture. But anyone who is new to the channel, uh, I know I have some new subscribers. And this is the first video of 2023, so I figured it would be a good time to welcome everybody to the, the channel uh, for any of the new subscribers or viewers and give you a quick uh, idea of what my videos are about. Um, I am 52 years old and I have a family of uh, two sons and my wife uh, that we all have done projects together over the years. And I decided to make YouTube videos to share with anybody that would be interested in our projects that we do. I'd like to do these videos um, through my 50s and I do all different type of project. I don't stay with one type of thing. So I'm sorry for anybody that has started uh, watching these videos thinking that I'm into just mechanics or just one thing. Um, I'm into all different things. So I hope you enjoy this video. The intention of these videos is just to entertain. A lot of these things I'm doing for the first time, so I'm not really knowledgeable on it. So I welcome any information in the comments that you could give me. Um, and I hope you're a little patient with me because uh, I, like I said, I don't know everything about the things that I do and I'm just giving everything a try. Uh, let's get to uh, the new project and I welcome you all to the channel. Thanks. So you can see here we had um, Christmas in the old original part of Shane's house. And so the plan was to have Christmas there, but right after Christmas, we moved everything from the rear workshop, temporary workshop, we moved it into the old house. Uh, you can see here, we started working on the stairs. The first thing we wanted to do is put the inner um, skirt against the wall. Um, that was a little tough trying to find that angle. We ended up using a scrap piece and finding the angle on the outside of the staircase and transferring it to the inside close to the wall. Uh, you can see here Shane made up the stair treads. We use uh, just regular pieces of pine uh, where he put a mitered edge on two sides, the side closest to the riser and to the outside. And what he wanted to do is put uh, two and a half inch boards that also had a miter edge. Uh, on those, you can see here, uh, he made up a jig to cut all the uh, the miters on each of the boards. Um, he set it up both on with the grain and also to cross cut. Uh, that worked out pretty well. Uh, he got a real good sharp, uh, fine cutting saw blade to make that cut. Uh, you can see here, I, I was putting on the skirt board towards the wall. Uh, the wall had a little bit of a wave to it, so I had to put in little wedges to keep it tight to the wall. Uh, later in the video, you'll see how I dressed up the uh, that cutoff edge, that rough cutoff edge on the uh, staircase area. So here you can see I used that same scrap piece that we used for the inside wall to figure out the uh, the uh, finish board on the outside of the staircase stringers. Uh, we wanted it to have be flush with the bottom and uh, it didn't quite make it to the top of the stringers. Um, you can see here I'm uh, tracing this out uh, to make a mitered cut and a, uh, just a square cut. The miter cut is gonna be on the vertical part of the riser so it can accept the uh, the perpendicular uh, riser. You can see there the board, the stringer trim board didn't quite make it to the top of the stringers, uh, but that's gonna be okay because it's gonna overhang with the stair treads that you can see there. 
Uh, so in this pot here, you can see I had to put little wedges in to make sure that those um, stringer, that stringer trim board is square with the risers. Um, you can also see there, um, I kept the mitered edge of that stringer trim board a little bit proud of the stringer itself. So to make sure that that 45 degree there, you can see it fits nice and tight that it wouldn't hit the stringer before it hit that trim board. I like to put uh, caulking on that joint before I nail it in, um, just so a good amount of caulking gets in the joint and is able to squeeze out and make a good solid um, uh, connection there. You can see Tracy is doing all the painting. Uh, we decided to go black on the stair tread to give more of an effect of a floating stair. Uh, we originally did the skirt board towards the wall black, but we changed that to gray. Uh, you can see in that prior uh, scene that Shane is making up the landing, and I'm actually making up a template for um, a jog in the staircase where we had to bring the skirt board that is against the wall, we had to bring it out into the staircase more. So any intricate cutting like that, I like to use uh, a, a scrap piece just to make all my mistakes on that instead of on the uh, finished product. So that's the uh, finished product there and you can kind of see how there was a lot of cuts and I'm not that experienced where I don't make mistakes. So I made a few mistakes on the practice piece, but the, the original one came out pretty good. So you can see here Shane is um, uh, uh, installing the uh, the stairs or he's actually just getting them uh, finally cut uh, to get them set up for the final installation we want to stain these before uh, we actually install them uh, just so they uh, the stain gets in all the areas that they should so you can see here he, we actually installed the winder stairs though be, because those were going to be too tough to stain and then install um, Tracy's doing all the staining. Uh, we had a good assembly line going because there's a lot of stairs. I think there was 13 stairs in all. The bottom stair was a little tough because there was a wall on each side and the walls are a little funky. They're a little uh, out of square. So Shane took the original um, temporary stair and just screwed on a couple of temporary um, scribe pieces just to get that angle correct. So now we brought that over and uh, made up that permanent stair. So at this point, we we're able to in start installing the stairs. Uh, they went pretty well. Uh, we used like a construction adhesive to, uh, to glue it to the risers. I like using that because it has a little bit more of a body to it. So any deviations in the stringer uh, gets made up by this construction adhesive. It holds really well and it also has body to it. So it kind of holds up any of the low areas. So at this point, we've got all the uh, stair treads on um, and they're, they're working out pretty well. We didn't walk on them um, after we glued them on because we didn't want to uh, create any flex like I was mentioning before, we wanted to keep the body to the adhesive and we didn't want to put any pressure on it that would um, cause any flex. So after those stairs were done, we started working on the trim piece uh, that goes around, like kind of picture frames the stair opening. Originally, when we cut out the stairs, we just did it roughly and just brought it right to the opening. So at this point, we had to cut them back and make it this cut was a little tedious because we wanted to make it good so it really fit nice and tight. Uh, so at this point we um, got the pieces cut and we took them out and Tracy uh, pre-stained them. Just that, that seems to be the easiest way to do it so you don't have to try to um, you know, cut in the stain around all different areas. It's, you just kind of just mop it on and you're good to go. So after that glue, uh, after that stain dried, um, I glued that in and they fit really well, surprisingly. Um, I'm not that experienced with cutting wood, so, you know, it's a little shaky sometimes, but it worked out pretty well. 
Shane's caulking in the edges and getting it the final, uh, uh, getting it prepped for final paint. And Tracy went through and did that. So at this point now, Shane's gonna go back and do poly on those uh, stairs. That's gonna help make it match the uh, flooring. It's actually the same stain. But guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next time.